Billy Connolly. Oh, what a great guy. Well, he, I first saw him on the folk, he was on the folk club scene. He'd been working out on the rigs and he talked about, years later he spoke about all these amazing guys who worked on the rigs who had so much humour. That's so often the case. You see these comedians on stage and you think they're really good, but a lot of the time there's far more funny people out there in the workplace, you know. So he'd come off the rigs and he was he was in Glasgow hanging around the folk clubs, I guess, and um, apparently he was in the audience when I played a club there in Glasgow, a very famous folk club at the time, called the Clive's Incredible Folk Club. And there were a lot of people there that time. Davy Graham was on the bill, I was on the bill with a banjo player called Pete Stanley, and all these Scottish folk singers were there. Apparently Billy was in the audience. And I got to know him shortly after that because he had a duo doing the folk clubs. And uh, he, I'd wind up playing on the same folk club stage. But pretty soon he realised that his forte was um, humour. He was such a great entertainer. So he moved off of the folk clubs into the work, working men's clubs and became a comedian. But the great thing about Billy, I've seen him quite a few times since those days, you know. And what's so great about him is he got very, very famous and it didn't really change him at all as far as I can see. When you speak to him, he's looking at you and listening to what you're saying. He's not looking at somewhere else like a lot of famous people do. <laughs> and um, of course, like a lot of stand-up comedians, he, he turned out to be a great actor, you know? So that's great. But the last time I saw him, I bought him a drink. So it's, it's his turn next time. Ha, ha, ha.